broken car windows. We see that all the time here. Stolen cars, sadly, that happens too. But someone setting car after car on fire, seemingly for no reason at all, that is different and maddening if you were one of the people who lost their cars in exactly that way on New Year's Eve. Neighbors in San Francisco's Bernal Heights say at least two people torched multiple cars and then just ran off. Our Andrea Nakano talked to two of the victims who want answers. I talked with two of the victims and they say they were just inside their home celebrating New Year's Eve. Then they saw a fire truck and then flames. They thought it was fireworks, but it ended up being their cars on fire. Residents say Park Street is normally a very quiet street, but on New Year's Eve, this neighborhood wasn't expecting to see this. Bright orange flames glowing under several parked cars. My car uh, almost burnt to the ground nearly. Um, it was a crazy sight to see. Malik Shabazz had owned his new Mercedes for just two months. It was a purchase he worked extremely hard for. In minutes, it became unrecognizable. It was honestly a huge shock. Just, it was a out of body experience. I can, I can say that to see my car just sitting there engulfed in flames. Shabazz used a car to get to and from work and he wasn't the only victim. This was all that was left of Lila Nelson's mother's car. And we're just so in shock and it was just so surreal mm -hmm. and confusing and we just didn't know what happened. Security cameras captured video of one suspect. Here you can see him walking by with a gas can. Residents believe there were at least two arsonists. I have no idea why someone would do this. I think it's the most heartless thing I've ever dealt with. The biggest question many have is why? It just doesn't make any sense why someone would victimize such an innocent neighborhood. We don't have any reason to be targeted. The residents here are hoping that if you saw anything or know about this case, that you contact the police department.